we tell people where we are. We tell people where we are. So along with Saki, our amazing host from Wales Homestay, we went to Mima village to see the stone pulling ceremony. So the Mima village, also known as the Honey Village, is situated in Gisama, and most of the population here are Angami tribes. Stone pulling ceremony here is celebrating today for 75 years of Christianity in this village. It's a symbol of love, friendship and peace. And my curiosity to know the heritage and culture of this village begin with my camera on. And let's see. I really started enjoying the vibe of the air. This rhythmic music plays an important role in their festivals and rituals as they are passed from generations to them. The young generations of Angami tribe and their traditional clothes, it was really a visual treat to wash them. But not only a visual treat, if I think in another way, it was a learning. All of them studying in different cities came together just to celebrate their heritage and culture. How beautiful is that? I was more than happy to watch more of people joining, some dignitaries, women, kids, old ones, some technical experts. In their colorful clothes with ornaments and such detailings as shining in the golden rays of sun. One thing that I should admit is all of them were looking so fit and fine. And then joined the girls, the pretty girls, with bamboo baskets on their back. Hundred of villagers in their traditional clothes and strong belief holding bamboo rope to pull a stone of 22 feet long. How beautiful is this ceremony and I felt so blessed to be here. Once it began, I realized it really, really worth the wait. 22 feet long stone with tons of weight started moving slowly with 500 plus people putting their hands together in unity. how the stone is moving so smoothly in the rough road and then I got the answer they use a natural breeze it's basically the pulp of banana peels how natural is that oh wait I got my friends on frame Hi. Hi. that's Anshu <laughs> that's my heel <laughs> I was really wondering at the technique they had used. The connectors were some natural roots and heavy ropes. But definitely their power was their unity. That energy passed to everyone around them. <laughs> so tired but still keeping the spirit up and you know why that conical bamboo baskets were for they were carrying water and local drinks 
for everybody as refreshment and were served in bamboo glasses. And our journey continued till something wrong happened. Oh, yes, it took it. Trust me, they fixed it in no time. And then I got an opportunity to have a closer look on stool and the technique they are using to pull this heavy stuff. It was not only me who was doing this observation, it was Honorable Nagaland Chief Minister and also Union Minister of State Tourism and Art and Culture enjoying the moment. With full josh, we headed to the main destination, the village, and I was more excited to see what is waiting for me up there. Hello! After reaching the village, we witnessed an amazing performance by the Angami cultural troupe, and the sunlight was a blessing. Thank you, Saurang Nangami Cultural Society, for your wonderful performance as well as for grazing this occasion on this storm pulling ceremony. Thank you. That amazing performance was not only the surprise for us. An amazing feast was ready for all the people who have gathered there. It's time for my first ever Naga food. Cheers! And I decided to have food with the locals, to be in the queue with them. Though I was not understanding their language, but for me, the language there was one, love. The main dishes of Nagaland are rice, pork with bamboo shoot on it, but here it was really a big feast. In the crowd, I skillfully found Saki and I made a video of Saki having his perfect meal and sent it to his wife Vikurno. No plastic, back to nature. Got my food in leave and for the first time I tasted pork skin. Have you this out? Yeah, yeah, just pull out. Yes. Yeah, it's close here. So is there. This thing here is a showstopper. How cool is this? Mima village and its people really made my day. I was the happiest.
Now it's time to find where my hair is. Ah. Oh, you're coming here to the right. We'll have a place where the food is served for the dignitaries. Next to that, we'll see a register. Bring down your happiness. But, uh, since we don't have guys to take you around, uh, we recreate for the same, but uh, looking forward for your second coming. So it's local rice. Hello. Yeah, how are you? Fermented in fermented soya bean, the chicken porridge, beef skin, pork inards. Hi, it's okay. Thank you. Snail. With perilla, meats, red chutney, but it got fishes in it, and uh, pork. I guess this is their dal. It's people We are everywhere. <laughs> so Nagaland, the dream I had from seven years to witness the festival of festival, the Hornbill Festival. Hornbill for me begin with an amazing homestay and the warmest people of Mima village. I packed my bag with an empty itinerary for seven days. And do I mention that it's my first ever solo trip to Northeast? The only rule I said to myself was to go with the flow. Then, sharing bed, hostels, homestays, hotels, my list was on. And I decided to wander where the Wi-Fi is the weakest. And trust me, the best people in Nagaland was kept for me.